So we are going to do a surrealist inspired uh, draft carving here. The first thing you want to do is kind of make an X as you can just see here um, and carve away one of those triangles. Now when you're carving foam you need to go slow um, and just a little at a time. If you try to rush it because it because you can uh, quite easily put the knife all the way through it um, but you don't want to do that because if you do it too quickly and too fast what happens is it just breaks away and then it breaks in a way that um, where you didn't want it to and your pieces won't turn out so always do things kind of slow remember that this video is sped up so I did not go this fast <laughs> um, and then we're going to be taking that one triangle wedge that we cut out and we're going to try to make it more of a face shape and you always want to kind of visualize how you want to carve away and kind of see the shape in uh, of what you're carving in the shape that you have um, which is a little bit you know kind of can be challenging here so I am carving back away where my ears are gonna be um, so that I have the ears there but I don't need all of that space as you can see I do just a little at a time um, so I don't try to take that whole wedge out just a little at a time and all I'm using is a um, like steak knife so it's a little bit of a sharp edge it has a nice point um, but it really doesn't take much to carve away so I just use that edge quite often to um, just kind of scrape away at the foam a little at a time. So I'm making a little bit more of the rounded front of the, the nose of the giraffe and I'm not looking at a realistic giraffe uh, face. I am just looking at kind of a cartoon one here. Just having fun with it and you guys can tweak my design but you want to make sure that you don't go too small too fast uh, because what I've seen students do is that they carve away too much and they realize they forgot to leave material for eyes or ears or whatever and they just get like the round shape of the head but they don't have uh, any leftover material so then they don't have the uh, material needed to make some of the details so you really want to just kind of take things slow. I'm making bulgy eyes here. So as you see, every time I go to diff a different kind of shape, a different part, I kind of trace out and draw a like the circle and then I carve away and just take a little at a time. Again, just always working a little at a time. This is not material that can easily be glued back together. It is kind of possible, um, but uh, you usually need to like use like a toothpick to get those pieces back together. So really take your time and go slow with this. The other uh, advice I have is to go outside with this stuff because your uh, parents will probably not appreciate all the foam everywhere because it is messy and it does go everywhere. Um, so I would do it outside. Um, on a, a nice day enjoy that nice weather out there so getting a bit more of the the front a paintbrush is kind of nice to get some of the little pieces away from there and now I'm defining the ears a little bit more now be very careful that where the ears attach to the head that you don't carve too much away and uh, carve that ear away from the head completely so uh, again you're going to hear me say this a lot. Take your time and do just a little at a time.
So that head is almost done. I'm just kind of carving out the backside, trying to round it out and rounding out. I just kind of take the, the knife from the center point and just carve a little bit rounded away from it. Smooth everything out and check and see how everything looks. And if you're satisfied with it, then set it aside and we'll be starting the body here. Okay, so on the body, the first thing that you're going to do is flatten out those uh, two corners there for the feet. And you want to do them pretty uh, the same amount that you carve off so that they are going to sit nice and level. Then I make a basic kind of oval shape on top there and then make lines down for the um, legs. And I cut off the excess um, material. Now when it comes to carving away from the body, the legs here, what I'm doing is I just kind of made a line all the way through and then just use the tip of the knife to slowly kind of carve away. Reminder, I sped up this video. I did not go this fast. Don't go this fast. Otherwise you would probably crack your material. And you only have one block, so uh, try to make sure that you don't uh, mess it up. But I do have a plan at the end. Um, if you end up not being able to get a sculpture done, I have a uh, secondary project that you can do instead. Thank you. 
So the next uh, tricky thing about the body, once you get a, a oval-ish shape but for the head and carve the legs a little bit apart, is carving away the two, all the legs, so it looks like four separate legs. So I drew a center line, um, but I just want to, then you'll see I made a point to the center because I don't want to carve it straight up. I just want to kind of carve it away. I want to keep the connection between the legs and the body as big as possible so that I don't accidentally carve the legs completely away. Now the design I've created here is really kind of bulky and thicker and if you choose you could go a little bit thinner but don't go too thin start out with the bulky legs and the bulky body um, you also need the body to stay pretty uh, decent size otherwise when we attach the head it will be too light and it won't support the head so keep the body uh, pretty bulky and uh, so that the mass of the body uh, is enough to support the head when we attach that. So here I'm just trying to make sure that the feet are level um, and it's not too rocky. Uh, so if it's a little bit rocky where it's not sitting on all four legs, you just want to carefully carve away uh, whichever one is taller. Be careful not to carve too much away because you don't want to carve your legs away. So once that's done, we're going to figure out the neck. And I put the straw, I'm just using a regular straw with a 
crinkly top there, right? Uh, bendy straw. And I'm gonna put the neck in, and I'm gonna go quite far into the body with that straw. I'm probably going in like an inch and a half into that body with the straw, so it's very firm in there. And as long as I get the angle right the first time, it should be really good. If for some reason you put too much of an angle on it and you have to do it again, try to make sure that you don't go in the same spot. Otherwise, it's not gonna be as uh, nice of a, uh, strong as a connection is what I'm trying to say. Then I took another straw and made the two horns, but you can also use like two twigs. It does not matter um, what you use for the two horns for the giraffe. But it is important to have those, otherwise it doesn't completely look like a giraffe. It could look like a very odd dog or something, I don't know. Um, then you just take your acrylic paint that you were given and paint it all over, coating it. Uh, carefully with your uh, color. Everybody got different colors. I'm just using white here. And um, you will notice it's not necessarily the easiest material to paint. It likes to kind of soak it up and all the little fibers go different places and stuff like that. But um, you will need to do like two coats to fully cover up that green material to cover up the foam. Um, I could probably even have used maybe even a touch-up third coat on mine. So once your two coats have dried, make sure and take lots of different pictures, getting the detail of the head and the body, long shots and close up, and turn those in. If uh, you have broken your foam and it's not uh, able to create the, the um, project, then this is the kind of project I'd like you to create instead, where you take the elongated um, elephant sketch that we've done and create another animal of your choosing and create a landscape picture. Have fun.